Let's read the question. Find the equations of the circles which touches the x-axis at a distance of 3 units from the origin and making an intercept of len 6 units on the y-axis. So they are asking us to find out the equation of these circles. There are four circles here and they also gave some information that these circles they are touching at on x-axis they are touching at 3 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0 and on y-axis they are touching at 6 and minus 6. So these are the uh, information which they gave and they are asking us to find out the equation of these four of the circles. All right. So let's uh, do this and we'll just find out the equations of these particular circles. So we'll write the given and also we'll write the uh, general equation of the circle. So let's go forward. Let equation of required circle is so the, the required equation of the circle I'm just taking as a general equation of a circle where I'm just representing it yes so that is s equal to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 so let's say this is equation number one all right so they have given the two things that is they are meeting at 3 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0 so we'll just use that so I can write here equation 1 is touching at minus 3 comma 0 all right so let's submit these values and uh, let's see what do we get so I can write the equation 1 that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is the equation 1 so let's submit in the place of x I'll just submit minus 3 in the place of y I'll just submit 0 so I can write here minus 3 square plus 0 whole square plus 2 into g into x is minus 3 and y is 0 plus c equal to 0 so let's solve this minus 3 square is it is 9 uh, plus this is 0 square is 0 this is 2 3 6 so we can write minus 6 g uh, this is 2f into 0 it was 0 plus c equal to 0 so finally this equation is obtained as 9 minus 6 g plus c equal to 0 all right so this is the equation which we got even we'll do the next equation also that is equation 1 is also touching 3 comma 0 so i can write here equation 1 is Searching at what is the point that is 3 comma 0 so I'll write the general equation x square plus y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equal to 0 so let's submit the point in the place of x I'll submit 3 in the place of y I'll submit 0 so this is 3 square plus 0 square plus 2 into g into 3 plus 2 into f into 0 plus c equal to 0 so this is 3 square it is 9 plus 0 square is 0 plus 2 3 is a 6 so this is 6 g and this is 2 f into 0 it was 0 plus c equal to 0 so this equation is being obtained as so this I can write this as uh, 6 g and this is uh, uh, plus c plus 9 equal to 0 so we could observe this is equation number one and equation number two both of the equation which we got from the points that is minus 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 0 so however whenever the circles were touching x-axis like this when the circles were touching x-axis then we will say the c value so the c will be uh, g square I can write over here uh, and then we'll just submit those values so I can write g square equal to c so that happens uh, when circles touches the x-axis all right so in the place of c we'll just write g square so now we'll submit in the place of c we'll just submit the g value so i can write this equation as 9 minus 6 g plus in the place of c i'm just writing it as g square so if you write this in the sequence so we have to write this as g square minus 6 g plus 9 equal to 0 all right so this is the equation which we got for this particular equation so we'll do the same for this other equation also so i can write this as 6g in the place of c i'm just writing it as g square so plus 9 equal to 0 so let's write this also in sequence so i can write g square um, plus 6g plus 9 
equal to 0. So if we observe this particular equation, it is exactly looking like a minus b whole square. So I'll write the formula, then you'll get more of clarity. So a minus b whole square is nothing but a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this one I'll just submit according to this formula. So now as comparing, we can write a as g. So this is g square minus 2 into a we have written as g and the b value is how much um, it is taking it as 3 plus and the b it was 3 square. So now let's see just compare this g square in the sense this is g square minus 6 is nothing but see here 2 3s it was 6 minus 6 g and this is 9 I'm writing it as 3 square. So this is perfectly a minus b whole square. So I can just write this particular equation as g minus 3 whole square. All right. So this is the equation which we got. So simply I can write this as g minus 3 whole square equal to 0. So instead of this particular equation, I have written it as g minus 3 whole square and equal to 0 I wrote as it is. Okay, this is just like a rough work. All right. So now if I send this square to the side, so that is 0 of square is anything it was 0. So I can write g minus 3 equal to 0. So the g value I'm getting it as 3. All right. So let's do same for this particular equation also. So this is exactly looking like a plus b whole square. So I can write here a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So let's represent this particular equation in this particular form. So I can write it a is representing g. So this is g square plus 2 into a is g and b is 3 plus this is 3 square. So let's see this. Let's compare g square here also g square this is 2 3 just 6 that is 6 g so this is 6 g and 3 square is, is nothing but 9 all right so simply you can write this as g plus 3 whole square all right so now in the place of g square plus 6 9 plus 9 i can simply write g plus 3 whole square so i can write here g plus 3 whole square equal to 0 so all this part is just a rough work so now if I send the square to the side, so that will become g plus 3 equal to 0, where the square of anything with 0 will be 0. So g equal to minus 3 we are getting. So here g equal to 3 and here it was g equal to minus 3. So these are the g values which we got. So as c value we have written here, right, what we have wrote, g square equal to c we have written. So we'll just submit the g value here so we could get it as therefore c is equal to g square equal to 9 all right because g is how much it was 3 if not if i write like this g is 3 or minus 3 anything so that is squaring if that is plus or minus in 3 when it was squared uh, the value will be same will be getting so the c value we are getting it as 9 so c equal to 9 we are getting so even we have to find out the length of y intercept so i can write here therefore length of y intercept that is 6 okay so that uh, we will just check it out so i can write 2 into under root f square minus c all right this is the formula which we have to use the y intercept there was given it was given in the question that the y intercept were touching at a 6 so this is 2 under root f square minus c is the formula where the y intercept is given which is 6 so i just equated with equal to 6 all right so let's do this further and we'll get the values so i can write over here the 2 if i send the other side so i'll be getting f square minus c under root equal to 6 by 2 so this is f square minus c this is 6 by 2 is how much it was 3 this uh, root comes to the other side so that is becoming square here so this I'll be getting as f square minus c equal to 3 square. It was how much? Uh, we'll be getting the 3 square as 9. Whereas the c value just now we got here. The c value we got it as 9. So we can submit the c value here. So f square minus 9 equal to 9. So if we send this 9 to the side, we'll be getting a value that is 9 plus 9, which is 18 f square equal to uh, 18 will be getting so if i send the square to other side i'll be getting here f equal to plus or minus under root 18 so now if i write this separately that is f equal to plus or minus 9 to the 18 right so i'm just writing like this so i can write f equal to plus or minus uh, this i'm just writing separately that is 3 square and this is root 2 so 3 square is nothing but it was 9 
so 2 and square can be cancelled and root can be written as it is so f equal to plus or minus uh, this i'm getting 3 root 2 so this is the f value which we got all right so f value we got plus or minus 3 root 2 whereas the g value we got already above that is plus or minus 3 we got and the c value we got it as 9 all right so we'll just submit all these values in the general equation of the circle and let's see what do we get so we can write therefore submit g equal to plus or minus 3 f equal to plus or minus 3 root 2 and c equal to 9 all right so we got already this g f and c values so we will be just submitting this g f c values in the general equation of the circle so we can write submit these values in equation 1. So what is equation 1 that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is equation 1. So let's submit these values in this particular equation. So we'll be getting the equation of the circle. So I can write here this as x square plus y square uh, plus 2 into the g value is how much plus or minus 3 x and this is plus 2 and the f value is plus r minus 3 root 2 and the y value will just write as it is plus and the c value it is 9 equal to 0. So if you further sum simplify the equation we are getting x square plus y square and this is plus r minus we will just write here plus r minus this is 2 3 is 6. So this is 6 x and this is plus r minus, minus over here so 2 3 is it was again 6 root 2 y plus 9 equal to 0. So this is the equation which they ask us to find out uh, for all of the circles which were given. Let's summarize the complete problem. So they have given the intercept where the circle is touching at minus 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 0 and other points they are touching at y coordinate that is 6 and minus 6 and they are asking us to find the equations of all these four circles. All right. So here you could see the circle which is obtained where here you can see plus r minus 6x plus r minus uh, y is there. So this is giving us the four equations of the circles combination of four equation of the circle. Even if you want to separately represent equation then that also will get for this for plus x we will be just writing only plus values over here for minus we will be just representing only with the minus x value for plus y we will here just submit the plus value here for minus uh, of the circle we will just submit only the minus value in the case of y okay so this is all about this particular question uh, where they just ask the equation of the circle which is the combination for all of the circles four of the circles so this is the equation which they asked to find out and we got it